Donald Trump has been gagged again, gagged badly, choked for threatening Mark Meadows. This is an incredible story. And at some point we have to get to the question, when will the special treatment stop? When will Trump be thrown in jail for doing what any other defendant would be thrown in jail if they were doing? Let me explain to you what happened. The DOJ a couple days ago accused Trump of threatening Mark Meadows and went to the judge and said, please reinstate the gag order. OK, uh, as Forbes writes, Department of Justice Special Counsel Jack Smith accused Trump of threatening his own former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, and asked a judge to restore a gag order against Trump after Trump lashed out against news that Meadows agreed to testifying in Smith's election interference case against Trump in exchange for immunity. In a Wednesday filing, Smith accused Trump of issuing multiple prejudicial and threatening truth social posts to influence and intimidate Mark Meadows, which the gag order issued earlier this month would prohibit if it were still in place. Shortly after the report about Mark Meadows deal, Trump posted on Troth Central saying he didn't believe Meadows would lie and suggesting he was coerced. Uh, Smith alleged that Trump sent an unmistakable and threatening message to foreseeable witnesses. Judge Tanya Chutkin issued a gag order on October 16th, uh, and it was a paused order. And the DOJ said, please reinstate that order. The judge has indeed done that. Um, we have a later report from yesterday. Judge reinstates gag order on Trump in federal election subversion case. The gag order has been put back on Trump for, yes, threatening a witness, something that he has now been told time and time again by judges in multiple cases. You can't do it. CNN reports you uh, the judge overseeing Trump's federal election subversion criminal trial has reinstated the gag order she issued on Trump earlier this month. Judge Tanya Chutkin also denied Trump's request to issue a long term stay of the order while his appeal of it played out. As the court has explained, the First Amendment rights of participants in criminal proceedings must yield and when, nece when necessary to the orderly administration of justice, a principle reflected in Supreme Court precedent, the federal rules of criminal procedure and the local criminal rules. Contrary to Trump's argument, the right to a fair trial is not his alone but belongs also to the government and the public. Here is the bottom, bottom, bottom line with the entire gag order thing. Any other criminal defendant in four cases plus two, four criminal cases plus two civil trials who violated gag orders, threatened and attacked court personnel, witnesses, potential witnesses, cooperating witnesses with this frequency would be jailed for pretrial detention. That's it. And you can find numerous legal experts that concur with my view. In fact, it's just me concurring with their view. I don't issue legal opinions independently because I'm not a legal expert. But what the legal experts are saying is that this is an example of the privilege and the two tier justice system that Trump benefits from. Now, we've heard that term two tier justice system a lot over the last several months. And what Trump and his followers insist upon is that they are the victims of a two tier justice system because they are MAGA Republicans, that there is the way everybody else is treated by the judicial system. And then Trump is treated worse because he's a MAGA Republican and for political reasons. The truth, of course, is that there is a two tier justice system. And we've talked about it before. And many of you have called in and said, David, isn't it obvious that Trump is the one getting special treatment? And indeed he is. The two tier justice system is wealthy elites, people with uh, positions of power, former positions of power, people like Trump and everybody else. And so when Trump says, you know, if they can do it to me, they could do it to anyone. They've been doing it to everybody else for a long time. The question was, is a president or former president immune from it? And at least in theory, the answer is no. But the special treatment that Trump is getting is that he repeatedly does what judges tell him not to do and what the gag orders say he must not do. And he is not jailed. He is not having bond revoked. And just about any other criminal defendant would have been in that situation by now. So there is a two tier two tiered system, and it is one that Trump benefits from. The fact that he is a beneficiary of that system is not stopping him from losing his mind overnight on Troth Central. I want to briefly talk about that next. 
No matter your genetics or lifestyle choices as humans, we all share some basic foundational nutritional needs and properly replenishing your nutrients daily is important for gut health, stress management, immune system. And that's where our sponsor AG one comes in. AG one is a foundational nutrition supplement. It supports your body's universal needs with something that you can easily absorb and utilize. So instead of a multivitamin or fumbling around with 10 different vitamin bottles, I've just replaced all of it with one scoop of AG one. I get the vitamins, the minerals, the prebiotics, the probiotics, all the stuff I'm looking for. It's delicious. It goes great in a smoothie. You can drink it straight with water like I do in the morning before my famous cappuccino. I've been doing it for years. You're just covering your nutritional basis for the whole day. It's simple. You don't have to buy a bunch of different vitamins. My audience knows I don't advertise miracle solutions and cures, and there's no miracle cure or solution here. It's just a simple product that works that replaces the clumsiness and the cost of a ton of different vitamins. Go to drinkag1.com slash Pacman. You'll get five free travel packs of AG one and a free year supply of vitamin D, which, as I've said, I take in the winter when there's a lot less sun out. The link is down below.